It is a Thursday and we have some hot dogs available on prize picks. Let's go in and touch on some good prop bets to pair with those. So I would say that a good reason why when you look at my record in the link in the description below is going to be between two things. One, being smart with the tacos that are available. You know, those are going to hit more times than not. And then pairing those with obviously favorable bets that we are chasing. Another part of that is going to be because of the fantasy score props that are available on the website for basketball. Okay, we do see the biggest discrepancies between underdog and prize picks there and if we just pull in like the sports book odds as well we can get some good projections on that and thus we can kind of beat underdog and prize picks in that regard i have now went ahead and updated the cheat sheet when i updated the name as well for anyone that was confused but i went in to update the cheat sheet to include mlb based props and so what we can do is go to prop and then we can do pitcher and hitting score and the reason i want to kind of bring this up to start the video is because I want to point out a few things. It is not as straightforward, I guess, as even NFL or NBA, What, especially for pitching. Pitching, you have to figure out kind of what their projected innings are to be pitched based off of the matchup and whatnot and how they've done in the past. That's kind of the data point that we need to figure out. And so I wouldn't say this is going to be 100% like a perfect data point to go off of and i wouldn't say like really anything is this is going to have a few more discrepancies between the fantasy score props uh, compared to like nba nba is pretty straightforward this if i guess something doesn't completely make sense that's going to be why because just look at it so we can see the over percent that's going to be pretty good the vegas line is going to be what's interesting and the biggest difference here it, that i'm noticing is that in some situations prize picks is going to value a win or a quality start in their data a lot more than maybe the vegas line is going to so we are going to get some projected edges there and i think a majority of the time we're going to see that this number for the vegas lines can be lower than what prize picks has and then with underdog it's a completely different line so i haven't figured out a good way to kind of measure the discrepancy between those two except for i guess just pointing out which ones are the highest difference but that's not great but we do have the projections in there i think that's going to be the number that we want to go in on and just for i mean we can see it's going to be much more close to the prize picks and so for what it's worth i did use this yesterday uh, while i was making the updates and had some success as well it's just trying to make the best educated decisions we can possible and so now i do think kind of hitting fantasy score is going to be much more easy to kind of project and predict and i would say the best way to go about doing this is look at the average sportsbook line and then also the projection if they're both positive over prize picks then, then we're feeling pretty comfortable about that and then same thing kind of the opposite way if they're both negative then obviously we can bet the under there but yeah i'm excited to get that out i think that's going to create some big edges for us uh throughout this mlb season so let's go ahead and get into some props that i do like so first and foremost we do have the hot dogs there okay and i would say this one we have a, i feel like this is the best one that we're getting it's only one strike out less by you know just looking at it given the matchup with pittsburgh it's going to be a good matchup he should be able to get over pitcher strikeouts there and then these two i do think are going to be a little bit tighter uh for both of them okay uh, a little bit more difficult matchups especially if you look at their last three games the opponent's last three games so it could be a little bit tighter now i'm still going to take the favorable odds that we are getting and just hoping that two out of the three hit but i would say i would say one of these two are going to be the ones that don't hit and apparently we're going to get i think we're going to get more hot dogs throughout the day i i could be wrong so let's go ahead and find out which ones we can pair with this hot dog so obviously we only have one nba game going on tonight and i'll touch on one of the props i like with that so with that i've been trying to find some mlb props that we can go with so one of the ones that i don't mind is actually gonna be george kirby and i kind of like the over fantasy score here and so some of you guys might be wondering why that is when the vegas line says it's gonna be 24.6 and then the projections are slightly higher okay we are seeing a discrepancy there the thing with the vegas line is it's very rarely gonna pull in a win or a quality start and so let's go ahead and Oh, that's Kyle. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That was Kyle Gibson. Uh, George Kirby here. Yeah. His uh, projection is slightly lower. And so is his Vegas line. Uh, but once again, the thing with it is, is that, yeah, it's very rarely going to pull in a quality start or a win. When we're looking at it, the only pitcher that's projected to get a win is actually Otone, where he has a 57% chance to get a win. And then the next best is Kyle Gibson at 46% chance to win. It does seem like Price Picks is valuing a lot of their props based off of a pitcher getting a win or a quality start. So now if we look at it, I, I like this prop for two reasons. One, I think he's going to get a high strikeout amount. And you might be wondering, okay, well, why not just do strikeout? To me, 5.5 is a lot. Do I see him getting six? Yes. Do I want to bet on that? No, I'd rather do the full sample of him as a pitcher. And so we can see he has gone the over thus far 
in three out of his four games. And if we look at his game log, we can see he has been pitching deep into those games, six innings in his last three games. And so that's going to give, if that happens again, that's going to give us a good chance at a quality start and then also a win as well. Now, part of this is also going to be the fact that he's going against Philly. At home, Philly is one of the worst in terms of strikeouts per nine inning in the league. Then if you just look at their last three games, they have struck out the most in the league. And so once again, yes, I think he does have a good chance to get six strikeouts, but I also think he has a good chance to get a quality start and a win. And then also if he does get five and a half strikeouts with all those outs, you know, six innings times three, that's 18 points just by pitching six full innings. He gets three points for each strikeout. It's about 15 points there, maybe 18 points there. So we're already there. And then if he gets a quality start and a win, we're sitting pretty. Obviously, earn runs could hurt a little bit there as well. And then now getting into Kyle Gibson as well. I don't mind him for over fantasy score. I did mention he has the second highest likelihood to get a win out of any pitcher today at 46% likelihood. So obviously not favored to do that, but he was projected to get over that. Okay. So slightly projected over that, but we do like that. A matchup with Detroit is not going to be one that I'm too worried about right now. Uh, over the last three games, they've given up the seventh most strikeouts per nine innings. And so if he gets, you know, he's been getting five innings each game and, you know, three games has gone six or more, which we like to see. So if he does pitch six innings, it's going to be tough to see him knocking over that fantasy score. Maybe the last time he just played Detroit, I obviously had a good game against them there. So that to me is going to be appealing for Kyle Gibson. Then we look at Logan Webb going against St. Louis. St. Louis over their last three games have given up 10.95 strikeouts per per nine innings, which is about the fifth worst, or it is the fifth worst. This game is going to be in San Fran. If we look at St. Louis's away game strikeouts per game, it's the second worst in the league as well. And we can see his last three games, he has been able to get that over there. So that's going to be appealing to him. He has been pitching, you know, enough innings as well, seven, six, point two, and six. Like if we get six innings out of him, it's going to be tough to imagine him in this matchup, not getting the over strikeout. And then another one that I don't mind for over strikeouts, and this is kind of like yesterday where I kind of mentioned there is a few MLB based props I thought would be pushes and, and two of them ended up being pushes exactly um, where I liked them but I thought they were much better prop bets on one of the sports books because we could avoid the the push based number that's out there on drafting or that's out there on prize picks sorry so I can see that happening again with Joey here but I do like the over strikeouts Washington over their last three games has given up a ton of strikeouts about 12.1 which is going to be the second worst over their last three games and if you look at his first start pitch seven innings and so once again if you're going to get a pitcher maybe pitching that much that's going to be appealing to alright so now switching up and into NBA as you you guys have probably figured out NBA is kind of my soft spot. It's you follow it for long enough, you kind of know what to expect. Like yesterday with the free throw thing with Jimmy Butler and Giannis, where you know Jimmy Butler had more free throws than Giannis in the previous game. I was like, all right, that's going to get corrected. That ended up working out. It's just like a comfortability feel there. Um, but today I, I don't really like that many. They all kind of feel like we'd be forcing them a little bit. The only one that I kind of like is going to be DeJounte Murray over fantasy score. Now, every game thus far, the series, he's has been over that. That's one of the reasons why I like it. And then tack on the fact that probably going to be a, a little bit extra motivated to play well tonight. I mean, it's a playoff game. You're already going to be motivated to play well. I get that. But, you know, just a slight mental edge makes me like him a little bit more for the over fantasy score. And then let's just go ahead and look at the best lines that we are currently getting. So on prize picks, we have a few that are going to be over 53%, which is pretty good. Um, we can see one of the ones is going to be pitcher strikeouts. I, I don't mind that one. No under bats. Then let's switch up getting the underdog real quick just to see which ones are out there. And let's look at it. Wow, we are getting some pretty fearful props right now, okay? 55% chance for over hits here. Uh, not bad. Uh, Jesus Sanchez as well. Uh, pretty good prop there as well. So these are going to be some props that I think we can go ahead and make on underdog. Now, obviously, those are probably going to disappear here shortly. That's kind of the issue, once again, with giving out props-based content, especially when we're chasing the best line, is that they come and go uh, throughout the day. And so once again, just to clarify with this, whenever we have tacos or like a hot dog, I am suggesting that we just individually bet these with the hot dog. So you'd want to pair it up individually. That way, if the hot dog or taco hits and we get, let's say we get three on the day, we only need to hit six total bets to have profit on the day. Very low percent. Obviously, after a good day, we can be very, have a very successful day like we did on Taco Tuesday. And as always, it's it's about you finding which prop you like the best and then going with that. But that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the coverage. If you did, make sure to give a like and subscribe. If you guys want access to the cheat sheets, you know, I keep continuously making updates to it. Uh, the more I can do, obviously, the more I want to do because that's, you know, where we can find the biggest edges uh, right now. And obviously that's kind of my primary focus uh with the props content is finding where finding where the best edges are and being able to exploit those that's all oh it's ten dollars a month as well you can sign up on the link in the description 95sports.com that's all guys let's have a good slate and as always let's keep cash